shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. What's up, you two? This is your boy Chris out on the gold wing out on the gold wing and today i am riding with our very own caliente gold wing rider mark on his 2019 honda gold wing the st 1100 chris the 2000 st 1100 i know but it looks like a 2019 <laughs> gold wing <laughs> <laughs> It, hey, it looks like a 2019 Gold Wing. <laughs> <laughs> the ST 1100. Oh, huh? <laughs> was that was that pretty accurate or what? Are you making it right here? No, I'm gonna keep straight. Okay. <laughs> Let me get over talking fast. Yeah. Let's say it's a 2000. No, that's a 2019 <laughs> Gold Wing. No, I better stop, man. I got a lot of friends out there that has that 2019 to 2018, so I don't want to, I don't want to offend anybody. Yeah. But if I offended you, you just offended. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a 2019. What's the difference? And you said that's a, v, a V4? Yeah, it's a V4. You sure it's not a flat four? No, it's a V4. A V4? Okay. Yeah. That's a nice looking bike though. Got a trunk on it, saddlebags. I'm talking to Mark via. Mark is wearing his 30K. Oh yeah. And I have on my Cena 20S. So we just decided to get the bike out today and cruise and cruise a little bit. Get a little wing therapy going on here. Mark, how long you said your bike was in the shop? Man, I had this thing in the shop for a whole month uh, just to uh, fix, do a real brick job. I kept saying they had to fix it, but they test drove it, it wasn't fixed. And you say you're not, you said that's not a 2019, you say? No, uh, it's not a 2019. Well, you said it was in the shop, so <laughs> that sounds like a 2019. <laughs> 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 I better stop, y'all. Let me stop while I'm ahead. Watch this truck, Mark. Yeah, he, he get behind you. Let me come to the, in front of you. I'm gonna let him on by. If we're gonna make a left up here here in a minute. Oh, okay. Man, this is a nice day out here today. A little bit warm, but you know, that's the part of riding. Oh, yeah. You know, you got a lot of bikers, they complain, oh, it's too hot. That, the, the destination is too far. Shut up and ride. <laughs> we'll take this little highway here, man. All righty. This is through the back door of Piperton. Your favorite place. Man, I hate that place. Man, when I came down to it, 269, I was on the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> you said they got you, huh, Mark? Yeah, boy. Stop me unless you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't drive fast to Piperton. No, you don't want to ride fast through Piperton, man, because they don't have nothing better to do than to try to give you a ticket. I tell you what, I was down, I was coming down this road, man, with the first lady, and he was, uh, he was laying low. He had an SUV, low profile lights on it. He just pulled over to, he was heading to my direction, and he just stopped. I didn't, I didn't realize who it was until I got right up on him. Yeah. So he might have been razzle-dazzled by my headlights. <laughs> That's probably what that was, Mark. So, Mark, what you got the taste for? Uh, uh, ticket is uh, two. Oh, yeah, I got three tickets. No, no, I was saying what you got the taste for to eat. What you want to eat? Oh, man, I, I don't care. Uh, Just want to get I something, huh? On my, uh, on my days off, 
I tend to sleep late and just get up and go eat whenever. Oh, okay. Feel like you got a hump coming up right here, Mark. I don't know how much of a hump. Yep. Speed up a little bit so there's a car coming up behind us. So we just out here cruising, hitting a couple back roads today, trying to get a little ride in. Out here in the great city of Piperton. <laughs> <laughs> Piperton on the map. Put Piperton on the map. Yeah, boy, little country town, but boy, they were so good. Yeah, they'll get you out here, man. they get you a ticket for having tags out here. <laughs> Sir, I got my tags and registration and insurance. I know, I'm going to give you a ticket anyway, because you got all of it. But that don't make sense, sir. Don't question my authority. So, come on, Mark, tell me something new. Tell me something good. Where are we going to eat at? Is it Mississippi or is it Tennessee? No, this will be uh, Mississippi. I mean, Tennessee. No, it's oh, Tennessee. Okay. You get me confused there, Mark. No, this will be Tennessee. This just right up the road here. It ain't. We'll be there in 15 minutes. What kind of food they have? Uh, burgers, chicken. Oh, okay. Stuff like that. Strict, look, strictly enforced. You got that gold wing shining down. Is it shining, Mark? Yeah, it's shining. I need to clean it up. I hadn't cleaned it really since I got back from my north, my northern trip. So did it rain on you up there any time? It thinking? rained on the way back. Oh, okay. I got caught in the Ozarks, man. I hit a, I hit a lot of rain. It was not only rain. I was hitting thunder and everything else. But the car tire performed flawlessly. Did real good. Hey, did you ever sell that bike that you put on your website? Uh, no, it's still for sale. It's oh, still okay. for sale. Yeah, it's still for sale. He's got some calls on it. Yeah. Uh, but no serious buyers as of today. Oh, okay. I checked with him yesterday. He said uh he had one guy that was supposed to have been coming looking at it. So. Uh, it's still up for sale. It's a good deal, Mark. Yeah. Strike. Strike while the iron is hot. You been thinking about it? Yeah, I've been thinking about it. Man, I mean, it's it's fully loaded. It's got everything on it. All the chrome, flow boards, heel toe shifter, navigation, CB radio. Uh, it's got wind deflectors on it. Uh, lights in the tailpipe, in the exhaust pipe. Yeah. So, I mean, it's ready. I'm going to make a right turn right here. All right. Well, you take me down a real country road. <laughs> hey, just hit, hit a couple back roads, you know. That's, a, that's the thing about it, man. You got to get outside of the inner city. You know, I was looking at one of my viewers uh, on the Facebook group. Uh, Bridget, and she was asking about, you know, she get nervous when she's around other cars and, uh, you know, what can she do to try to relieve that, you know, that, I guess that anxiety of being around other cars and stuff like that. And uh, I know exactly what she mean, but what I generally do is get out of the inner city, you know. You got to get out in the country, man. Get out in the rural areas, you know, because in the city, everybody's in a hurry. Everybody's trying to get to where they're going. They're riding fast. They're riding your bumper. You know, they're changing lanes quick. They're jumping over at the last second. Uh, this is this is uh, Highway 57 here. Oh, okay. Uh, so, you know, I say get out of the inner city, man. Just hit, get, you know, get in the rural areas. You know, only thing about rural areas is wildlife, but, yeah. you know, you're dealing with a, uh, you know, motorcycle riding, man. You just want to ride where it's not a lot of traffic. It, it makes it more enjoyable because now you're not riding on the defense. 
you oh, know, yeah. you being more yeah. of an offensive driver, you know, you always got to keep your head on a swivel, but when you're riding in the inner city, man, you know what you're going to run into. You know, so that's just a tip. Advice I like to give people, get get out of the inner city. You know, but, you know, believe it or not, you got a lot of guys, they, they want to ride just down on Bill Street. You know, and that's cool every now and then to ride down on Bill. But, you know, I like to get out, get out of the inner city. That's why sometimes, Mark, you'll see me jump on my wing, man. I'll just take off. So how are you liking that 30K? Oh, man, I love it. I love it. And now, is this, this the first time you actually... uh? Used it right as far as yeah, my first time biker to biker communication. Yeah, my first time. Okay. That's all right. The breeze coming through. Yeah. Oh yeah. So actually, I was uh, checking the uh, weather last night. It's supposed to be partly cloudy all day, but uh, I see a little sun here and there peeping out. Yeah. Yeah, Mark, today I got my, uh, today I'm uh, riding with my Revolution backrest. Yeah, Ooh, man, it feels so natural back there, man. Feel like it's a part of the bike. That, that, that utopia, it just, it didn't feel good, man. It keep falling forward, pinching me in the, uh, just nudging me in the back. Real irritating. And then, you, you know, you try to find the perfect setting. You try to lock it in place, and it, it comes loose. And this revolution sits higher up on my back. Yeah, yeah. The utopia was kind of like down in the, you know, down in my lumbar. Yeah. It was very irritating. Yeah, I like this a whole lot better. And the thing about it, when I got rid of my Revolution, I sold it for half of what the new one uh, cost. So I had to, end, I ended up losing money on that deal, but that's okay though, whoever bought it, you know, yeah. they got a good deal on it. So I didn't really mind, but. So you, the, uh, so you had a Utopia and a Revolution uh, bike race in the past, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I had a Revolution at first, okay. but I was trying to put some on here that was more comfortable for the first lady. Okay. And uh, because she was complaining about the bar on the yeah. side was, you know, she was kind of complaining about it. But it was real comfortable for me. So I switched it out and put the Utopia on there for her, oh. you know. And I was thinking that was going to make her want to, you know, maybe ride more, yeah. Yeah. you know, be more comfortable when she ride. But no matter what I do, you know, she just really ain't too big on riding. So I said, well, I'm going to make it more comfortable for me. I'm not worried about the passenger. I mean, I got the option to put it on there when she do ride, yeah. but 99% of the time I'm gonna be riding with my Revolution because it's just so more, just so more comfortable than that Utopia. And I could put the pad, I could put the pad around the bar like you mentioned earlier, yeah. like you know, put the padding around the bar, and then that will uh, make it a little more comfortable for the passenger. But you know, I may consider that, but right now. I'm going to leave it just the way it is. We're going to make a left up here, Mark. Oh, okay. We'll be making a left. I'm going to take you on over here to the Wolf River. And get you get you one of them Wolf Burgers. <laughs> Yeah, Wolf River Cafe. No, no, it just <laughs> they just called it that. That's a good question. Why, you know, I guess why would they call it Wolf River if it's not on the river? But Wolf River, you know, we're, we're close to the Wolf River, so yeah. Hopefully, they didn't catch the fish out of the Wolf River. <laughs> I hope they open. I'm assuming they open on Sundays. They may not even be open, Mark. My radar detector going off. Somebody must be hiding down here. Uh. Yeah. Mark, it looks like the Wolf River is not open. That's not good. I thought I could take you to somewhere close and get you. 
See, this is the Wolf River right here. Yeah, Mark, I kind of finally getting the bike kind of where I want it. With all my lights and everything. Yeah, I saw in your YouTube video you had took it apart and back together. Yeah. The first lady said, how many times you going to take it apart? I said, as many times as it takes. <laughs> she said, I'd be worried about you when you take that bike apart. I said, yeah, I know. But I said, you also say that if I don't break it, I'll fix it. And I've never broken it. Have you broke anything before about taking it apart? No. <laughs> <Seriously>? <laughs> you talking about on my bike? Yeah. Uh-uh. You know. Never broke anything, Mark. Okay. Uh huh. If I don't break it, I'll fix it. That's good. That's good. You must watch a lot of videos before you do it, before you, so you know how to do it right. No. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> if I get the panel off, it will come. Yeah. Uh huh. A lot of those panels got tabs or something. They're plastic tabs. Or right. Yep. You are correct, sir. You don't, you don't take it off properly when I'm saying first snap. Yeah, yeah. You have to kind of do some research on that, but once you learn it, it's like, you know. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It's all good. So, uh, where are we headed now? Uh... Uh, we're gonna try to get up out of here. See if we can. I know you said you want to grab something to eat, so I was trying to think in my head uh, a good place. I know the day is some places are closed today. Well, I'm good, man. We just head to the barbecue or something. I can get a barbecue or something from there. Oh, okay. I can get a sandwich or something. Yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know if they started or if they gonna start oh, okay. it. To, yeah, that's right. That's right. You know. Yeah, they said two o'clock. It's yeah. at one thirty. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I might want to grab something. Uh, you know. By the time we get over there, it'll be that time anyway. Oh, okay. Uh huh. I need to get my brakes. Pull them off and check them. I was going to ask you that. You do your own brake work? Yeah. Yeah, I do my own brakes. That's all right, sir. Yeah, save a little money. Oh, yeah. Once I get rich like you, I can go ahead and pay to have it done, you know? No, I'm just not a... Uh, I can fix a car brake, but I think I'm not good for motorcycle brakes. What did this road here take take us? It's gonna take us to, uh, I think, Carrieville, Arlington. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're gonna. Yeah, do, right. I'm, I'm gonna dog leg us back over to the, uh, to the, to the Shelby Farms. Or, yeah. This is 385. We're going under right now. Oh, okay. So we over here, man. Oh. Is that a fat bird? bird. <laughs> There's something out here, but it ain't no man. There's something out there waiting for us. And it ain't no man. Mark said he took a turn and he didn't know which way I went. Next thing you know, he lost. Hey, Chris, I, I, I hear about y'all talk about the dragon. Is the dragon in Tennessee or is it Kentucky or something? Yes, yeah, in uh, Knoxville. Oh, okay. okay. It's in Knoxville. You think you want to do the dragon? Yeah, I want to do it one day. Oh, okay. And holler at my boy, old slap dog. Yeah, Slapper lives at the foothill of the dragons. Oh, okay. Uh -huh, he right there at it. So how many curves that dragon have? Guess, you know, I don't know. I think it said, what, 318 curves and 11 miles or something? Really? Yeah. Oh, 
I'm not big on curves, but there's a lot of curves there. You like curves yeah. and yeah. twisties yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. That's a lot there. That's a lot. Uh huh. That's a lot, huh? That's a lot. We hunting. That's a lot. We're gonna make a left turn right here. Over here near Billington, or no, no, no. We uh, we got her near Collierville. Oh, okay, sure. okay. Well, I said, Where the hell are we? I told you, Mark, I lose you in your own backyard. Yeah, sure will. You said you wanted to ride, so I. Oh, yeah. If you do some more riding trips, let me know. You know, I'm free for the next two months, so let me know. We can go, All right, now. Can go somewhere. All right, now, when I get on the bike now, I don't want to come off of it now. <laughs> don't don't get me on here for 30 minutes and say I'm done. <laughs> I can't ride like that. I got to ride. I got... You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I told my wife that she's gonna, she got a barbecue to go to at 2, so I, I was thinking we were going to ride to about 2 or 2.30 or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's all good. Yeah. Sometimes it's good just to get out just a little bit. My old lady's going to ask me, will you be back? <laughs> uh, later, later today, I'll let you know. Yeah, she's going to ask me. Yeah. Where you going? When you be back? I'll be back later today. Sometime today. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll give you an update every 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 two hours. Because, you know, um, she's off like I'm off for the summer. Yeah. You know? Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah. She don't like, to do she don't, she don't like me to leave her at home. Does she ride with you, uh, Mark? Uh, she don't ride on this bike, but she ride on that truck. Okay. Oh, okay. And that's the reason I haven't came to a term to get rid of it yet. Right, right, right. Yeah, she likes it. Yeah. That's all right. He said he wasn't available for a short ride. Oh, okay. Last minute deal. It's a nice house. I'm gonna get there one day. Uh, <laughs> I got some friends of mine. Uh, man, they stay. They heavy into uh, 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 trading. They heavy into penny stocks and all kind of stuff. Okay. And, and they and that's what they do every you know every, you know every couple of days. They uh, I'm gonna get this house here one day. My stock wise. <laughs> Didn't sell it, huh? Yeah. Buy low, sell high. That's the name of the game. Yeah. Buy low, sell high. I tried to call JC this morning. He said he was sick. Oh, uh, yeah? It was his birthday yesterday. I wished, you know, just wished him a happy birthday, but. Oh, okay. I didn't get a chance to really talk to him. I just, uh, I call, he didn't answer, but he texted me back saying he was in bed sick. So I just uh, texted him happy birthday and told him to get well soon. Yeah, I talked to him yesterday. Oh, okay. Did he mention anything about his birthday? Yeah, he told me. He told me it was, uh, he had, uh, had the flu that people coming into the post office, uh, uh, you know, you know, present day journals. You think that's how he got it? Yeah. Probably so. Got to be careful with that, real careful. Yeah. So he hit a sore throat a couple of days ago. I said, really? Are that what he said? Yeah. 
Yeah. Come on up, Marlon. Let me take a look at the bike. Let me take a look at this 2019. <laughs> yeah, Mark on the 2019 Gold Wing. The 2019 ST 1100 Gold Wing Tour. Yeah. Yeah, she'll go. That's something I can say. She'll go. Oh, okay. She'll roll. I never even been through here, honestly. Yeah, I come here a lot. I just ride up on my motorcycle or something. Oh, okay. You know, I done got now, Mark, where these little short rides don't do it for me, man. When I crank my bike up, I got to put some miles in it. You know? I mean, I, I don't mind doing a short rides, but... Yeah. You know me. I, you know me, man. I get lost. And there are some, uh, what are those, buffaloes? Yeah, it's on there. You want to go play slap the buffalo? 